why do you have a sueñito? It's gloomy and it's perfect for a nap. This is how you're talking in the introduction to the Bits For You podcast? <laughs> no. You gotta put some more oomph into it. You call me at a bad time, son. Son? I ain't no fucking son. <laughs> I'm your husband. <laughs> que locura. Where, where you're enjoying your lazy Sunday? Uh, it's been lazy for the past, what, 30 minutes? No, the whole day. Bed. Well, except for the morning. We uh, we sewing. went out. How is that lazy? Uh, your hair is a mess. <laughs> the little bit that I have. <laughs> the little bit. I wasn't the one that cut it short. I know. All right, then. You could blame me. Yeah. And uh, tell us what what's new. What's new for what's new with you this week? Like anything. Mm, we went out yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. With one of our friends. Yes. Who's a a listener? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Um, we've uh, been watching, or I've been watching those E3 conferences. What do you think about that? Even though I don't play video games, they look like they're fun. What's fun? Seeing all the new ones come out. Yeah. Gonna come out. And seeing all the nerds clap and get excited for it. Yep. Que <laughs> lindo. <laughs> what? What happened? I was yawning. I'm sorry. It's okay. I know I'm boring. What What are your thoughts on the whole Anthony Bourdain situation? Uh, the suicide. That's sad. What's desperation? Sa- desperation. Mm-hmm. Not wanting to deal anymore. You think he was inspiring to a lot of people? Yep. Anybody you know was inspired by him? Yeah, my sister. Yeah. She was affected? She's a, yeah. Un poquito. That was her cooking idol. Yeah? Mm-hmm. What do you think about this? Uh, he said this. Travel changes you. As you move through this life and this world, you change things slightly. You leave marks behind. However small and in return, and in return, life and travel leaves marks on you. Most of the time, those marks on your body or on your heart are beautiful. Often, though, they hurt. Wow, you're yawning again through this Anthony Bourdain quote. It's not that it's boring. Damn, that's cold. That's messed up. I'm in total relaxed mode. Yeah, because you're laying down in bed. You got to sit up. (laughs) Why do you look at me like that? (laughs) (laughs) You're looking at me like, what the fuck? (laughs) Oh, shit. What happened? You have to fart? Just fart. Hey, no. I can't read lips. I can't read your lips. What did, What were you trying to say? Were you trying to say something else? <laughs> no, you got nothing to say. Everybody farts if, if that's what you were trying to say. It's not going to come out on the microphone. I, I don't think so. Unless I put it right behind your butt. <laughs> okay. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Fantastic. 
I'm glad there's no dogs in the background. I fucking hate Just dogs. You? I fucking hate dogs, sir. I hate them. I feel like just you were born from you were born from one. Yeah, I know. As we are, as we all are, sir. Yours was the biggest dog of them all. I don't know what biggest. <laughs> yeah, we know it was. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's been a long time. Uh, vacation and honeymoon kind of kept us apart for a while, sir. Did you miss me? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. What the fuck is that? That's my feelings. Jeez. Speaking. Jesus the fuck. So what's uh so what's new with uh in your world? Me? Um I guess gaming wise I What have you been up playing? Elder Scrolls online? Yeah, I was gonna get into that. So you got the you caved. And after you said you would never play another MMO and you got Elder Scrolls. I will say it's barely an MMO. It's an MMO. MMOs have changed uh, for the since you last played World of Warcraft. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, it's it's it acts very single player ish. So I don't know. It's still yeah. it's still an online game, sir. Yeah. So how is it? Yeah, so uh, so far, it's very quest heavy uh, in the story. What, first of all, what made you get the game? Uh, the new expansion was coming out, so I wanted to try that out. What you heard that the new expansion was fucking kick ass or something that made you jump into a game that's been that's been out for like four or five years? Well, they've been doing lots of improvements on it because you know it's. Uh, First came out with a lot of negative feedback, like every MMO. No, <laughs> WoW had uh, phenomenal feedback. Yeah, WoW's the exception, the uh, rare exception. <clears throat> I don't know about that, but yeah. Either way, uh, it it's I wanted to play because. Uh, I like the scrolls. I don't. I don't know. Freaking know when they're gonna release another one. It feels like forever since, you know, uh, Skyrim. So I feel like playing that. And uh, I can't do that because, you know, I mean, I, I'm playing the VR version of Skyrim. Mm -hmm. But I feel like playing, you know, the next iteration already. So I play, uh, you know, Little Scrolls Online. And uh, I guess it's pretty quest heavy. Like, there's a lot of stories. It's different from WoW in many respects. Uh, mm -hmm. but you can still do grouping and stuff, which I've done for dungeon stuff like that. But I've been mostly just focusing on quests, uh, which are all, like I said, are all story driven. Uh, the world sc scales with you, so you can explore anywhere because anywhere you go, it's gonna be the same level as you. There's a few monsters that are, that are higher level. When I say few, I mean like they're marked on the map, and there's only like one in the zone, the area you're at. Right. So, you mentioned that it was mo it was uh, geared towards single player. Are you are you stating that you have yet to join a party, or you've joined some parties? No, no, I have. Okay. Uh, but most of the time, it's just for dungeons, and you can look for one. It's pretty easy. Okay. It's, it's well, that's at least that's taken from WoW, like a dungeon finder sitting in WoW. Uh, you just queue up and. Uh, Based on your role, right? So you pick up with a group, and you could do the dungeon. Mm. You can only do it after a certain level, just like wow. Mm -hmm. And is, does uh, it have a a monthly fee, or is it free to play? No, there's no monthly fee. Free to play. Then. The only way. Uh, hmm? So it's free to play. Yeah. Oh, you have to buy the game, but yeah. So how so does the good. how does the the studio make uh, make money off the game? Well, like I said, you have to buy the game, right? They get released. Uh, there's DLC that you have to buy. Like, 
you have to buy to play those. And they have the they do have a plus membership thing going on. What are the benefits of that? I don't remember all of them. One of them's like bank space. Uh, you mm-hmm. get access to all of the DLC. Um, I see. <clears throat> there's a few benefits, which I'm not interested. I'm not going to be hardcore. Uh huh. Like, like that's the thing you're you know referencing me. Uh, I used to be really hardcore with uh, you know WoW and EverQuest. I'm not doing that with this game. I'm taking my time. I'm not. I'm not racing to level up. And you're playing this on the PlayStation Four. No, because I have to pay. To Actually, play online, from what so. I remember reading years ago, that they they were from what I've read years ago, the it was free to play on the PlayStation Four. You don't you don't need a membership, but I could be wrong. That's what I heard. Well, either way, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I'd rather play with a keyboard and mouse a on P- that a PC. Yeah. Kalindo. So what yeah. is that? Is that the only game you're you're currently on, or is there another one? Um, I guess technically I haven't finished Horizon Zero Dawn yet. Uh huh. So there's that one. Um. Oh, Fortnite. Oh yeah, I, you I mentioned know. Fortnite uh last week. How do you like it so far? Uh, there's a lot of hype, and I think it's fun, but not, I don't think it's worth the hype. Um, but it's fun. Uh, I'm only playing it for free. I'm not doing the stupid things that cost money. Right. So. Did you, the cl- did you uh, hear the recent news online that the creators or the studio behind PUBG is suing Fortnite? Yeah, they're just salty. Also, you you are familiar with the with the with the news. Yeah. 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 <laughs> The, what was the lawsuit again? Because uh, for PUBG is stating that Fortnite uh, ripped off their their idea or something. Uh, yeah, I'm not completely certain on all that, the. That's the gist the of lawsuit. it. I'm sure it's more detailed, but it's fucking stupid because they're not the only battle royale type of game out there on the market. Even the battle royale idea that's from Battle Royale. Yeah, but even that idea has been around before before then, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, will, I will say that's probably made it. That movie has re-energized that. Eventually. Yeah, that's true. Even though the movie came out what eighteen, nineteen years ago now, but still, they took has an it idea. Yeah, dude, was it wasn't it ninety nine? Twenty years almost. I could be wrong. Really? I could be off by like a year or two, but almost, almost. Well, 20 when, years. when did Kill Bill come? Though the first Kill Bill was in oh three. And I'm sure that this was uh, Battle Royale was before Kill Bill. No, yeah, it was because the uh, the actress uh, was first, Gogo, right? She was, was from first. Battle Royale. That's how he recognized her, right? And I believe so. Tino daughter. And I believe the the sequel of Battle Royale was uh, like two or three years later. Yeah, but it's nothing like the first. No, of course. Yeah, the, the second one was a piece of shit. <laughs> the, the 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 that I think the the, the director died. He died, yeah, so, like during the making of, and then his son took over. Yeah, and it was really bad. It was it was shit. But uh, yeah, it was just funny. Like that's that's the news the past couple of days, um, and people on social media are just making fun of the the PUBG studio. Like, why the fuck would you sue Fortnite? You, yeah, everybody uh, everybody left PUBG, or a lot of people left PUBG to go to Fortnite. But fuck. <laughs> The fucking sue them because they because nobody's playing your game anymore. That's fucking pathetic. Yeah, you know, I know they're trying to save their IP, but it's like uh, you're also dragging your repetition in the mud. <laughs> yeah. So totally, people are gonna be pretty upset that you're even doing it, and then it looks makes it looks bad because it makes you look, you know, salty. Like right. You're, right. I mean, you're desperate. I, I guess PUBG still has a chance because. Uh, they have the mobile app that came out a couple months ago, and I tried it for for a bit. It, it's okay, but I don't like playing mobile games. Um, I know people that play PUBG on the on their cell phones and tablets, but it's just not for me, man. Have you played it yet on the mo- on the mobile version? No, cause it, uh, is that free? Yes, it is, sir. It's completely free. Are you <clears throat> are you gonna look into it now? <laughs> no, I don't, think, I don't even know my phone can handle that. So. I'm pretty sure it can handle it, dude. 
I don't know. If it, it feels weird to play that kind of, kind of game in the... on your t- on your phone, right? Exactly. That's yeah, the same thing I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, it's cr- it's crazy. Um, have you heard that uh, they're making a Duke Nukem movie? Uh no oh wait I, right I think John Cena John Cena is gonna play Duke Nukem. <laughs> did he actually get hired for the role? I think, I think according he, I according to the last thing I read, it was uh, he was he signed on to play it. Now just because he signed on doesn't mean the movie's ever gonna see the the light of day. You know things could happen. It could be uh, put on the back burner and, and never get made. But he did sign on to star as yeah. Duke Nukem. <laughs> what do you think about that, sir? It's a video game movie, so. Yeah. You still the, the Rock has them on that already. <laughs> yeah, the Rock. Well, the Rock has two. The Rock has Doom, which was shit, and then Rampage, which is good. You actually saw Rampage, right? Yeah, we did talk about yeah. it. I remember. You still haven't seen Tomb Raider? No, well, I heard it was decent. It was decent. It's coming out in a. Actually, we're we're in the end of May. So it's coming out uh, in a couple weeks on digital HD, and then a week later on on Blu-ray. So you'll, okay, you'll so be able to catch it soon. It. Yes, sir. Eventually. Yeah, and speaking of John Cena, since he's in the wrestling universe, um, you uh, are you caught up in the in the WWE uh, and Fox deal? Yeah, uh, I got caught up as soon as it happened. Yeah, I was well, I was on vacation when it happened, but. Um, you want to mention it or you want me to well basically from what i heard maybe you can help me out and add more info is that fox signed a deal with wwe smackdown and they're going to show smackdown beginning 2019 i believe or sometime in 2019 mm-hmm. so yeah. the wwe oh sorry smackdown is now on raw i mean sorry on raw on usa or is it still on sci-fi no it's been on usa for like a year or two yeah okay and SmackDown, when it first uh, started in the late 90s, I, it was on network television. Back then it was, uh, I think it was UPN. The Rocks show. <laughs> yeah. But back then it started, uh, a SmackDown started on UPN or, or My33 or something like that. And then it left network television and went to cable. Uh, sorry, uh, basic cable, like sci-fi yeah, and, and so, stuff. That so, was the start of the, the end. So this will be the, <laughs> this will be the first time in... Over a decade that SmackDown is back on network television, being on Fox. Now, Fox is paying for it, but doesn't mean Fox will put it on your syndicate channel. It could be on some other Fox channel. It could be Fox on Fox Sports. Sports. I've well, from what I've read, it's going to be on um on on actual their Fox nationwide uh, national network. The only reason people are saying that because Fox has not said. Only people uh, are reason they're saying that because of how much money they're just being spent. Would you throw that kind of money at a Fox, you know, some secondary cable channel? Yeah, that's true. They did pay a lot of money for it. So that is true. Hmm. That's no bueno. Yes, people know this is a a five year deal. Is Raw like, part of that deal or just SmackDown? Just SmackDown. Hmm. I could have sworn Raw was part of it, but I guess. I Raw's deal is um, USA. Is well, right now it's with USA, but it's 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 like its rights are going up soon, so they it's possible it could get renewed. Possible someone else picks it up. Huh. Because the problem with uh, TV right now, as we have talked before, yeah, um, you know, people are not really watching television. Watching it. <laughs> yeah. So. They've they decided it is Fox's reason Fox is paying this money up the ass because they're going all sports because they know people won't watch that DVR or stuff. Mm-hmm. So that's their thinking. Okay, this is a sport, you know, sort of, and uh, people watch this live. Fake sport. They're not going <clears throat> to... <clears throat> Sorry, I was coughing. Oh, because it's a weird cough. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> It's a live program, and people watch it live. It's not something that you would really watch DVR or whatever, which I do anyway. But um, <clears throat> so that's your thinking that you're going to watch TV because of sports. You don't watch NFL and uh, on some subscription network or 
you know, or DVR it usually. Yeah. You got a point there. Well, that's yeah. their thinking. I'm not saying I agree with that, mm. but that's how it'd be. So what's what is what's new or interesting in the wrestling world? Is it still the storylines or the 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 both shows are still kind of shitty? Are they doing anything new? What's Ronda Rousey doing? Ronda Rousey doing? Ronda Rousey was just hovering around for a while, not doing anything, and they decided they're going to have her face Nia Jax, who's the current champion on Raw for women. Uh, so she has already had a title match, which which is funny because when she first started, uh-huh. she, one of the first things she said was, "I want to work myself. I want to work myself up. To, I want to work my way up to the top. So I'm not going to face. A, I'm not going to challenge the champion right away." Uh huh. I guess After that one match, changed. she's challenging the champion. <laughs> I guess, but that's typical WE because they kind of don't plan long term like that, and they'll do things like that all the time, and then it makes people look dumb. It happens a lot more than you think. So do you think so, that they're just uh, catering to the to the fans and what they want, or they're just like sloppy writing? I think it's just uh, we don't know what to do. Let's do this. <laughs> so it's more like a desperation attempt. Yeah, I think they've been desperate, also undecisive on a lot of things. When I say day, it's basically Vince. He's he's the final say, and he's been like that for a few years now where he's like it feels like it's gotten a lot worse where he just makes decisions on the fly at the end like I give you an example uh, the greatest Royal Rumble uh, just uh, was in April right it was they were advertising Undertaker versus Rusev okay then all of a sudden they're like okay no we changed our mind Undertaker versus Jericho and then literally I think a few days or a week before they're like no no wait Undertaker versus Rus- Rusev. <laughs> okay. So it's that kind of shit. Right. And it's like, uh, can you make up your mind? And, <laughs> and they and they and, and they'll like blow their load quickly on a lot of stuff where they, they should have just waited on it. And then they put themselves in situations where they already blown their load and what are you gonna do now? Blow their load again. Which is what they're doing. It's always with, fun. You know, rousing. <laughs> yeah. With Ronda, they could have like had her face somebody else or you know, some other things. What they do is uh, I don't understand his thinking. Hmm. Interesting. Well, you know. <laughs> wrestling sucks anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I, just, I disagree with that. <laughs> Hey, um, so E3 is in a was E3 is in two weeks. I think it's yeah, two weeks, June tenth. You won't be here to watch it, right? No, I'll be uh, out of country. Oh shit, sir! Where are you going? Sorry, it was June eleventh or twelve or something. Uh, well, June eleventh is Monday, but June tenth, Bethesda is doing their E3. Yeah, showcase. the showcases, but that's before the E3. Right. They do some of the they do some of the showcases before E three. Yeah, the official E three is I think uh, June eleventh. Yeah, it's a weekday. I know that. Uh, and, and yeah, I think it's Monday. Uh, but anyway, or Tuesday. Actually, I think it might be Tuesday. Sorry, I'm looking at it right now. It says Monday. Okay. Uh, anyways. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I went last year. I, I'm not going again. I probably won't. I don't know if I'll ever go again. Um, it was kind of a bucket list thing to do, and maybe I'll do one day. But it's just so expensive. Uh, two hundred fifty, to get, and it's still the same price. So two hundred fifty to get in. Yeah, that is kind and, of that is a unless stupid. you're like, the, I think if you're the first thousand or first two hundred or fifth five hundred, I forget the amount of people. It's like a hundred dollars, but then there's no like packages where you can just pick a day. It has to be the whole the whole time. Which I can, you know, that makes sense. But people, a lot of people, you can't afford going all three days. You just want to go like one day, right? You know, huh. so because with the two fifty price tag, you know, that that many people are going to go. And I think you could tell they can't sell the tickets out. Yeah, um, I think if they lower it, I would go. 
two hundred fifty bucks just to walk around and see like fucking displays of games that are gonna be out in a few months or maybe even a year away. Uh, that's not fucking worth it, man. Like I said, I I had a, f- a lot of fun. Uh, don't get me wrong, I I enjoyed it a lot, and I am glad I did it at least once. That's that's the the one I'm gonna say at least once. Right, because not only are the, are the tickets high, then you have to fly to LA, then you got to stay in LA. Right, it's it's just pricey. But you've gone to and you've talked about it here. Uh, you've gone to other conventions, gaming related and whatnot, and like PAX and other ones, and you've had a good time there as well. And the tickets are not as as outrageously expensive as as fucking E three. I mean, I enjoyed PAX, but I will say I did have more fun at E three. Oh. Um, but I went to PAX South. That like the first year I started. I don't know if it's any better now. So, uh, but it, it was l- still- let's say you they they ask you for feedback, just you. What would you and they ask you what what, what would you price the ticket? What would be a good price for you? Just put it at 100. That, that that there you go. I was thinking the same thing. That's a fair fair ticket price. I mean, that takes me uh, like if I go with my wife. That saves me three hundred dollars right there. Yeah, man. Which could be, you know, towards that could go towards my hotel stay. Right, or any other thing, or if you, you know, merchandising, they can, they can recoup that cost uh, with all the other vendors that are going to be there. You know, somehow, there's no need for it they to be thousands, like almost three hundred dollars off each each table. Exactly. That's freaking insane. They're not a. Uh, they're not poor here. So let's, just, I don't, mm-hmm. let's jump into some some uh, updates or news that you've uh, or rumors that you've seen. Um, you have anything to to? Oh wait, the the, the thing that I mentioned to you uh, in the text message, uh, Fallout seventy six. Um, I was able to see something about about the Fallout teaser. I don't know if you saw this. I think it's Kotaku stated that the they believe that it's going to be an online survival. RPG. Why there, do you think that? Kotaku said that. I don't know. They, that's just what they they their sources say. Yeah. My sources is that uh, it's going to be a uh, you know a free to play uh, farming game. <laughs> a free to play farming game. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if a lot of people would be interested in that. Right. Uh, in my opinion, uh, well, we don't even have to go. We don't. We don't have to say anything about rumors. Let's go with facts. Okay, give me some facts. It's called Fallout seventy six. What does that mean to anybody? Do you know? To What's that, 70, fall, exactly. Shelter seventy six. Does that mean anything to you? To Fallout fans, yes. What? It means it's a shelter. <laughs> right. So. <laughs> they have actually referenced the shelter, seventy six, uh-huh. four, uh, and three and four. Right. And it's supposed to be one of the first uh, shelters to be open, and then the people in it were supposed to rebuild. So it's a prequel. Yes. Uh, so seventy six uh, is going to be before any of the, the games have come out. If they if they go with the timeline of. As soon as, because uh, seventy six open was one one of the first ones to open. So, mm-hmm. if they go with that storyline, I mean, I guess they could say they could do still do Shelter seventy six, but it's been for you know two hundred years or whatever. Which at that point I don't know why we do that, but I, so I think it's gonna be like yeah, pretty cool. Like it's gonna be before even the first Fallout. So 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 even though mm-hmm. it's. It's gonna be, let's say, it's, uh, the number seventy six is gonna be a prequel. You would be fine with just playing another Fallout game, similar gameplay mechanics as a prequel, or would you be more interested in the online survival RPG that Kotaku says it knows from sources? I'm not that interested in that. Uh, I am interested in. So I'll give an example, uh, which should be a game I played recently. Including two. In Nino Kuni 2, you know, you play as a king. Right. <clears throat> you get it. You get booted out from your kingdom, and you have to rebuild. Make it. And there's a whole this building kingdom mechanic in the game. Right. And which with that comes building your own army. 
as well. There's all these other things involved. Uh, so I think 76 could do something like that, where, okay, you have to rebuild the, uh, the world after the apocalypse. So it's not going to be about survival. It's about rebuilding. Hmm. I could dig that. I can deal with that. Yeah, so this whole aligned, sur- aligned survival, even with the lore, doesn't really fit to me. Then if, if it was going to be just some stupid survival game, then why use 76? Just use some other shelter for that. Why use 76? So I, I think there's a lot more to it than that. And I think some... I would hope some kind of building mechanic would be involved. That's my... That would be my theory based off the fact that it's Fallout 76. Yeah, that would be a good theory. We're going to know more about it uh, in two weeks, June Three. 10th. Uh, 6.30 p.m. Pacific time is Bethesda's E3 showcase. Mark it on your fucking calendars. Thank you. Or your cell phones will explode. Uh, moving on. Uh, any other E3 uh, news or updates you want to share? Have you sure. seen? The, have you seen? Um, the, have you seen the Pokemon shit? There's nothing to see. They haven't said anything. Some somebody said that the Pokemon shit is like a full flow, a full blown RPG for the Switch. Yeah, but not, Nintendo's not saying anything. Huh. People, people say all they want until they Nintendo says it. Oh, they better say something. Oh, they um, yeah, like uh. There's been so many uh, leaks at this point. I don't know which one is real, which one's fake. Yeah, that too. Uh, but a lot of the leaks, they all kind of saying Pokemon for the Switch. Nintendo has said there'll be a Switch and Pokemon game on the, on the Switch, but we don't know to what extent and all this stuff. Um, maybe they did. I don't think they ever did, though. Um, so people are hoping this year they'll finally say something. And I, honestly, it would be good timing because right now the Switch... Is really heavy on the Wii U Wii releases. Very heavy, and they haven't had any major big titles um, for the for I think since the beginning of the year, right? Uh, well, that Labo. Fuck, dude, get the get the. You haven't played the Labo in fucking weeks, so come, so come on. Nobody's playing that shit, and they and they haven't released the sales numbers. Uh, as of late, well, besides that article I texted you before I went on vacation that stated that the that it wasn't doing well uh, in, in Europe and some other international countries. Even in Japan, it wasn't doing well, dude. Come on. If it's not doing well in Japan, Nintendo is basically has a failure on their, on their hands. No, it, it was like number four in sales. I don't know. That's not a failure. Number four. <laughs> yeah. This is when being a top ten, being... A, the top five of the month in sales is a failure. It's a failure, sir. Yeah. People are saying in Japan online that it's just it's just a failure. But anyways, what? besides the, besides what you uh, admire, the Labo, they have nothing else. No no big titles. Well, that's what I say. They have titles. It's just for a lot of people, they are new. Right. Like okay, example, the Donkey Kong, was, con- the Donkey Kong yeah. Country. Yeah. A tropical Freeze. Uh, you know, but these are all Wii U games. Like, I remember at the beginning of the year, everybody was excited right. about Bayonetta. They're Wii U games. I'm like, I play, I play Bayonetta 2 on my Wii U. Right, and, the, I and, and, the, and, I, and I believe that the big fucking mistake that Nintendo's doing is charging full price for a game that was released on a console that was shit, the Wii U. And now they're porting it over to the Switch. Oh, but we're having the extra DLC. It's all included. No, fucking... Lower the price of that. Xbox and, and, and Sony don't release uh, remasters or, or just HD versions full price. They were they they. That's a, bit, that's a big difference. What's the big difference? Almost no, no, almost nobody played it on the Wii U. That's their fucking problem. Who gives a fuck? They're trying to recoup the cost from development on the Switch. They can go fuck themselves. That's well, a big the fucking. People are buying it. You know, Mario Kart was like. like Mario Kart was like, the exception because it's Mario Kart. And every that's a fucking badass game. It's the same idea. It's a re-release game. Donkey Kong is a big, really big. They did the same exact thing. They they re-released it. Same price, sixty bucks. It's stupid. They're not they're not lowering the cost. Yeah, fuck Nintendo with their stupid shit. I haven't bought a fucking game since like December, anyways. 
There's nothing that there's nothing that they have released in the past. You haven't played. You haven't even played Xenoblade Two. No, I haven't because I'm still playing Zelda. <laughs> but anyways, well, my point that. my point is that, finish that in April, remember? my point is yeah I, that that's not gonna happen. Uh, my point is that that they don't have any big titles that are that's worth buying. I am kind of interested in the in the Mega Man uh, Mega Man X ones uh, coming out here. Um, Mario Tennis is coming out here soon too. Talk about Nintendo exclusives. They have no exclusives that that it, that's gaining. That's having Mario a- Tennis is exclusive. Fuck that game. Nobody wants to play fucking Mario. See, well, are, you, are, you, are you saying you're going to see Mario Tennis on the Xbox? No, fuck Mario Tennis. That's a piece of shit, man. No, it's fun. <laughs> okay. If you say so. I do. I'm not going to pay no $60 just to fucking throw a tennis ball. It's ridiculous. No, you don't, you don't throw it. You, you whack it. I don't, I don't want to whack it. I can just whack it with my penis. That's gonna be pretty small. No, it's not. Okay, call me a pinga. <laughs> what about yeah. so, uh, Nintendo? No, I'll tell you what. So the, I'll tell you something that's like more juicy. Besides uh, these old things about Pokemon and stuff, uh, this has happened. Uh, I believe it was last week. Uh, so someone uh, went ahead on Reddit. Mm-hmm. And some of these game magazines reported it, but like someone read it who actually knows posted this uh, about the cheating that's happening on Splatoon 2. Oh yeah, I've read about that. <clears throat> right. So then, in that post, they went into great detail. Mm-hmm. You, you go find it. You can find it under the Reddit for Nintendo Switch. Right. Um, and uh, so, anyways, they go into great details on the, the cheating that's involved and how they. He doesn't give you exact how how they do it, but what what's kind of involved. Mm-hmm. And he, his thing was, doesn't matter. You cannot fix this cheat with firmware. It is a hardware issue. Hardware related goes, cheat. Huh? It's a hardware related cheat. Yeah, they they did they, they 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 did something to their hardware to, to be able to cheat like this. So even if they so no, they said. Software wise, they shouldn't be able to fix this. So Which you're you... you're telling me that this uh person, this user, did something to their actual Nintendo Switch console to cheat. He didn't. He he does it, and he and he knows how to do it, and he admits that they only agreed to keep that private, but then people went out, you know, went on the world with it, and they started playing on, on those online public servers and stuff with it. And oh, so somebody uh, figured it out. Somebody figured it out and went public with it. Shit. At least public in the sense that they're out playing it and like that. I don't know how many people actually know how to do this stuff. Because it seems like you have to actually mod your, your Switch to do this stuff. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, it's, it's not, it's not Which like... is risky if you don't know what the fuck you're doing because you can damage the Switch and Nintendo won't, cover the, won't recover the repair. Yeah. So supposedly, and it's only like a supposed, someone got banned for it. Right. But Nintendo has not caught anybody else at all with this cheat. And uh, are you going to talk about the cheat because you keep saying cheat? You don't. You don't have to describe what it is. Oh, they'll change the co- cosmetics of their uh, of their squid. You know, squid uh, person. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh huh. The character. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and they'll also use weapons that haven't even been released yet. Stuff like that. Oh, and, shit. Uh, huh? That's interesting. Yeah, things like that. Um, and so one of the things is... So how does that affect the a... gameplay if it's just cosmetic? No, no. Also, weapons haven't been released. Oh, I see. There's also see. even more there's even more serious ones like uh, where you can't really see the player and stuff like that. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is that is that is a game changer. Definitely. I think this one was the uh, last one. Because uh, I saw like a gift and I couldn't see the player. Unless I was mistaken. But anyways, um, so they're saying you can't fix this. Oh, wait. Are you moving wise. around or something? Because the quality of the audio is now turning to shit. No. Uh, uh, okay. I think, I think it's... Well, whatever. Continue. Go ahead. Right. So anyways... Um, so this went public, and 
and they're also saying Splatoon 2 doesn't even do the same cheat checks as one. As like so, some games. I'll give you an example of Fortnite. Uh huh. You could even see it when you load when you load the game. Right. It says, "Oh, the anti cheat program." Yes, it does. I, a, I remember. Yeah. You know, right, and it and it checks for any kind of cheating that's happening. Right. And obviously, the obviously these game companies won't say what it actually does. Of course. Because they don't want you to get around it. Right. But anyways, uh, they're saying Nintendo did, did that for Splatoon One. It didn't even do it for Part Two. That's I, not even there. I I wonder why either if they did it purposely or they fucked up and forgot. Right. So there's like, why is it? Why did Nintendo even do this? This is like not even like you don't you don't do release these online games without some kind of anti cheat uh, software warning. And what is Nintendo uh, doing about this? Have they come out and made an announcement? I haven't seen anything about it. Oh, so they're staying hush about the uh, the the subject. Yeah, so I wonder if this is something to be addressed in E3. This is why I brought it up. Because they, because remember, they're gonna come out with the Splatoon to uh, DLC. Right, and that's gonna so, be uh, very soon. So maybe they'll do like an up. Uh, we'll, we'll, so uh, not even a firmware update, right? The guy said that a firmware won't won't resolve the issue. Right, that's what he says. Obviously, that's a no. Could be like. Yeah, we can. Here and here it is. Right, exactly. They, if they figure it out, they can probably resolve it. I mean, I understand you you mod the soft hardware and it does what you're saying. But so maybe they could so catch it. What if Nintendo? Yeah, what if Nintendo does uh, a brick causing update? Which if they detect any mods on the Nintendo Switch, that'll break the the game for that for that user and, and possibly the Switch. They can do that, that if they be... want to, but, you know, that's, you know, that user will be pissed, but, hey, you should have never modded right, it. Right, right. And, uh, obviously, we won't know any of these, all these questions we don't know, so. Nintendo comes out and says something, and here's E3, and here's Splatoon 2 DLC coming out. How are they gonna, how are they gonna answer to these angry fans? They don't want cheating on their game. Because mm-hmm. you're some regular player. You don't want to cheat, you know. I don't think it's running rampant or anything. Uh, I haven't played, to be honest, in a month or two on Splatoon 2. But uh, when I was playing, I never saw it, you know, hmm. or at least noticed it. <laughs> yeah. Um, is there anything that you want to see announced in E3 from not only Nintendo but any other studio, any other developer that you're that you're that you know that whatever whatever it is you want to you want to see announced or something that's been uh, that was announced. Um, a couple years ago or last year that you would like to see them? Uh... Yeah, there's several things. Uh, the first one for me would be Metroid Prime. Yes, 4. I agree. That that would, that would be on my choice as well. Uh, the other one, which has been a leak, which could be false. Uh-huh. Um, let's say another Star Fox game. Oh yeah, I I saw something about that recently. I saw, right. I, didn't, I, so, I don't I'll, know much detail. I just said potential something about Star Fox in the works or something. That no, be... uh, the leak it comes from uh from a uh, like a, a schedule release like leak like oh the, like the a release schedules. date huh like a release date no like the E three schedule for uh, Nintendo and oh. it had that game listed but it said Star Fox I mean sorry Star Fox Star Fox. Uh, Grand Prix. Huh. I see. And then someone, and then people went to more of those rumors, and I forgot how. Is someone, someone, someone? I think I think some someone that worked at the studio leaked it or something. But the next Star Fox game is going to be a racing game. That's kind of stupid. They should make a full blown Star Fox game. You know what was a cool Star Fox game? Uh, that Star Fox game on the, I believe it was a Nintendo 64, or maybe it was the GameCube. Yeah, Star, Fox. Star Fox 64. <laughs> no, 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 no. Then it was the GameCube. Star Fox Adventures. Yeah, that was I GameCube. think I think that was made by Rare. That was a pretty badass Star Fox game. Uh, people didn't like it. So. I I liked it. It wasn't Star Fox. You were in the ground, like. Yeah, like in the majority of the time, but still, it was still fun. Like if they could do a Star Fox. 
adventure sequel or just a brand new game, but have both air, uh, you know, co- space combat and ground Let combat. Let me tell you what people want. That would they be want, fucking badass. Um, people want Star Fox 64. People they want. Why would they want that? What, an HD remaster? No, that, that is already out. Uh, we're talking like a game like it, you know, your boss ship. Right, but we could have kind of we could have a space shooter like Star Fox sixty four slash exploration adventure game as well. You know. Well, let me let me go into more detail about this though. <laughs> okay. Um. So apparently, the uh, the studio working on it is Retro Studios. Oh yeah. Okay. And supposedly it's uh. It's canon because uh, it's gonna be a crossover with F Zero. Oh, I see. Because in the last Star Fox, they actually referenced uh, or F-Zero. showed it, uh-huh. where Fox raced uh, Captain Falcon. Right. So this is probably a reference to this. It, it's funny, like with Star Fox, they want to do everything with Star Fox, but it's core like. How it was intended initially. After Star Fox One, they try to change it up so many times. Yeah, it's weird. Very weird. We play uh, Star Fox Two now on the SNES Classic. Yeah, what, what a it's, piece it's, of shit. It's, uh, no, I say it's a piece of shit. It's just it, short. It's a piece of it, shit. No. I finished I, that game in forty-five minutes. Yeah, it was meant to be a short game. Ridiculous fucking game. I don't know. I, you could beat a game in 45 minutes and completely do it. Yeah. It kind of comes off as a mobile game at that point. But yeah. Hmm. But I, I'm with you on the whole Metroid Prime. I want to see that announced as well on, uh, at least from Nintendo's E3. Mm-hmm. And what I are you also, looking forward to? I also want to see Shenmue 3 and uh, um, another announcement. I believe when they first announced it as part of the Kickstarter was in 2015. It's been three fucking years, and we still got no news or updates on Shenmue 3. Seeing that Shenmue 1 and 2, the HD remasters, are coming out uh, sometime this year. Uh, They have a target date of fall. They they just haven't released an actual date or month. It it only makes sense if 3 is is released as well this year. Don't hold your breath. Yeah. I figure that they probably won't release it this year, but at least make a fucking announcement and show actual footage in, of the game as well. W- wouldn't you? Wouldn't, nice. wouldn't you? Wouldn't you think that would be a great opportunity? Yeah, I think it's part one and two. It's gonna take a long time to. If you if you've never played it, I played part one, so I'm interested in playing play, part two. I play. I played part one. I never played two. You beat part. No, I never owned the Dreamcast. I I never finished it. I own the Dreamcast and I own it and uh, I played it and beat it. I haven't done it recently. Congratulations. Uh, well, you won't have to because the HD remaster is being released this year. No, I'd rather play it on my Dreamcast. I, I own the Dreamcast. Fuck still. the Dreamcast. Play it uh, HD remaster for the low, low price of twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, I'm sure to play it part two. Uh, so, uh, that takes a while. So, I don't know. Well, knowing people and their schedules, they could just beat it in a few weeks or in a week. <laughs> yeah, very likely. Somebody on will stream it on Twitch and, oh, I finished it. <laughs> they won't sleep yeah. or whatever the fuck, you know, or just have a six pack of Red Bull right next to them and finish it. Right, just someone in college or something or not in school uh, or not working. Or not working. They just, yeah. they could do it. But that's what I want to see. I want to see Shenmue 3 announced and footage shown. Um, like you said, Metroid. Um, what, what was There was something else Nintendo related that I wanted to see, at least for, for them to announce. Well, we already know Super Smash. Ah, fuck that game. Uh, that's, <laughs> people are very excited about it. Yeah, I'm not excited. I mean, it has to be something fucking extraordinary to bring me back to the Super Smash Brothers universe. I wasn't thrilled about the Wii version of Super Smash. You're like the only person I know. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, I'm 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 a unicorn, sir. I'm very rare. You just don't like fighters. No, uh, the Street Fighter uh, 30th anniversary just came out this week. Mm-hmm. You oh. never all of all the time I've known you, you do not play really play fighting games. I play fighting games, just haven't right. not recently, but I used to. What's the last one you own? Was last the one last games? one that I owned? Yeah. Was the uh, Dead or Alive on the PS3? That was five. Wait, Dead or Alive five? Yeah, I think it was five. Then I then I PS3. traded then I traded it. Yeah, PS3. And what before that one? Uh, Tekken six. And before that, Tekken five. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, it's, it's <laughs> um, what else uh, I would like to see? You know what? At this point, Final Fantasy VII, the HD remaster, remake, whatever the fuck SquareSoft or Square Enix is is calling. I don't give a shit about that anymore. It's been too long. Too much time has passed, uh, and and especially since they announced like a year or two ago that it was going to be episodic. I was like, uh, yeah. Whatever, it might be good, it might not, but at this point, they tested it with Hitman, and the Hitman episodic, it, it works well for Hitman, because Hitman, you can you can do each level, like, you know, in a couple hours, you're done, and then they, they release the uh, other episodic levels every other month, or every, yeah, they would, I think it was, they would skip a month, so every other month, they would release a new map, but Final Fantasy, it's just been so long, like, I don't even give a fuck about that game anymore. Seven? Yeah, the HD remake that they announced that it's coming out on the PS4. I mean, like you're you're you not lost interest in Final Fantasy. Or Final I lost Fantasy? interest. No, in seven, in the HD remake of seven. Mm-hmm. Like for at this point, if Square Enix says, "Oh, we're canceling it," I'll be like, "Okay, great. I'm, I'll be happy about that if they announce that." Like it's just been too fucking long. They announced that shit like two or three years ago. I'm more like, uh, and, and especially cool, I'll play it, but I, I won't play it till it's completed. Like right. all the episodes. If, right. And then you put it at a simple, s- small price. Like a fucking Game of the Year edition, which has all the episodes. Right. Yeah, that's when I'm playing it. I'm not buying it before then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But at this point, I don't give a shit about that. I, I don't see, I don't see any other, anybody else online even bringing that up as well. So I, I, I personally believe that the online... And the majority of the people that were fans of that game are, are probably just don't give a fuck about it anymore. No, those people who care. It's just they really have taken their time. Um, maybe they announced it too early. I don't know. Uh, it's, yeah, you think? Fuck, it's been yeah. like years since they announced anything about it. They didn't even announce well, it last okay. year. Huh? They did not announce it last year at E3. It was a year before. Yeah, I was there and nothing. Yeah. I was hoping they would at least look, I get to see it or something. But nothing. Exactly. <sighs> Anything else so, you want to you update about E3? Uh, Spider-Man. Um, ah, yes. I want to see more of that. I, I, but I, they've already shown enough with the gameplay trailers. And the game is being released in September. That I doubt they'll touch uh, much of much of. Yeah, but it hasn't it hasn't been playable. So oh yeah, you're right. So well, no last last year's E3 they showed a playable uh, gameplay. No, no, you couldn't demo it though. So obviously, oh, it for the actual crowd, yeah, that'll be nice if they do that. Maybe they will do that because it's only like a few months away. Not just the crowd. Like, okay, fine, show me too many trailer gameplay. How about someone who really wants to watch it? Like, okay, someone playing for like the first thirty minutes or something. You can't do that right now, until they, you know, release at least have a, a release that has that, that's playable. Right. And he, so, anyways, I would think this year, they seem to be going all out on the advertising on it. Yeah. Because I saw them have a board, uh, like a big, you know, poster on the, the Staples Center. There was a Staples Center, yeah. Hmm. Not the Staples Center. Whatever the, I can't forget the convention center name. It's by it's right by the Staples Center. <laughs> Interesante. Yes. Interesante. Uh, I, I don't care for it. I know you do. The Last of Us too. Oh, I do care for it. Uh, they have to announce it this year and have a, a an actual release date. Uh, especially since the um 
one of the top dogs of Sony said on a, on Twitter that uh, the the PlayStation 4's life uh, cycle is coming to an end soon. And then he went uh, and clarified it, stating that the PlayStation 4 has at least two or three more years left in it. So, uh, yeah, they need to announce it soon. I I, I don't see uh, my prediction. We won't we won't see Last of Us this year. Uh, I believe we're going to see it I, early 2019. Uh, lately, in the past couple of years, a lot of the developers. Uh, I don't know have, what you're talking about. They've already said they're going to announce. They were going to talk about it. Yeah, but with the release not- date release date of this year. Uh, I actually think so. I don't know. I mean, it would be nice. Um, but it just makes more sense to do it early 2019. A lot of this, uh, like in the past couple of years, January has been flooded with a bunch of big games. They're like developers are saving it for earlier in the year. That would make sense if the if the end of this year is crowded with like the usual shit, like fucking Battlefield Five was announced uh, last week. Um, on another Call of Duty is probably going to be announced at E3. Um, you know. Even though I don't play those games, they're still big titles. Uh, if, if it comes out before the year's over, like December, great. I'll fuck that. That'll be great. We're getting a Last of Us sequel before the year's over. But I just, I just don't see it happening. Maybe they're taking their time with it. I don't know. That's just my, my prediction. Mm. You know. No, I don't know. Yes, you do. Speaking of uh, Spider Man. Uh, yeah. The Spider-Man Homecoming movie sequel has a villain. Your mom? No. Even better than my mom. Jake Gyllenhaal has signed to play Mysterio in the Spider-Man sequel. Who? You don't know who Jake Gyllenhaal is? No. Jesus, though. Christ, dude. Where the What fucking rock have you been under? None. <laughs> well, what is he in? Uh, okay. The only thing that I that you might have seen him in because he does a lot of like dramas, and I know you don't like dramas. Um, would have been the remember the Prince of Persia movie? He was the prince. No. Well, am I supposed to be impressed by this? <laughs> He's a fucking great actor. Oscar nominated and everything. You don't even know who the fuck he what? is. It doesn't matter. The Mysterio has the fucking fishbowl on his head. And, Mis- and the Mysterio's in the fucking is in the, is a villain in the movie, so that's fucking badass. Come on. No, but Mysterio has a fucking fishbowl on his head. You don't see emotions on who, who, who? <laughs> Fucking fishbowl. Doesn't matter, so Yeah, he is. It doesn't matter. Unless they change the costume, which is Sony, so fuck them. <laughs> they probably would. Well, moving on, still comic book related or superhero related. Tom McFarlane announced that Jamie Foxx is going to portray Spawn in the Spawn reboot movie. What the fuck is he talking about? Exactly. He said, when I saw him last at the convention over here, like, I think a year ago, or maybe two years now. I think it's been two years. He was saying that Spawn's going to be a ghost. So what the fuck is he talking about? Well, <laughs> he still he still mentions that it's going to be uh, along the lines of what you said, like... Uh, a ghost or whatnot, but he mentions that you know it's official. Jamie Foxx announced it. There's a picture of them on Twitter. Uh, these are the, the this is the quote from Tom McFarlane. He says, "If you want to see something creepy and powerful, where you go, just want just what the hell was that? I'm not going to explain how Spawn does what he does. He's just going to do it. He's basically saying that it's not going to be a, an origin story, like a full blown origin movie." They'll touch uh, I'll touch upon his origin here and there. He then he quote uh, to quote McFarlane. He says, "We'll eventually do some of the background if we make a trilogy, but that's not the first movie. The first movie is just saying, do you believe? And if you believe, then that's good because I'm hoping to take you for a long ride with this franchise." And then he said about Jamie Fox, "There are five or six moments where I'm going to need things from my actors, and a couple of them." Have to come from Jamie Fox. I've seen him deliver them on screen. He gets to, he gets into his own and body language, and he goes on and on and on. Basically, um, yeah, it's Jamie Fox. Jamie, he's basically said that Jamie Fox is a big fan of Spawn. He's also a big fan of money. Exactly, like every other actor. <laughs> Actually, so am I. Exactly. So that's that's the breaking news. I think it broke like a couple days ago. So this 
Ghost Spawn, is he going to be like that ghost in the in the movie Ghost? <laughs> you know, but it is being made by the uh, um, low budget. No, uh, no, you know what? You know what? It's going to be like a ghost story. No, even him? better. It's going to be like Ghost Dad with Bill Cosby. No, no, Ghost Story. <laughs> I don't think you've ever seen that movie. Great, uh, Ghost uh, Story is the one where the guy he puts the sheet over his body and he's a ghost. Well, he doesn't put it. It's that's a, how the great ghost is portrayed. Okay, yeah, yeah. I've seen the trailer. I haven't seen it yet. It's on Amazon. I saw the. It was it good. Uh, my wife hates it, but uh, she I liked hates it. it. <laughs> can you without I'm spoiling not gonna, I'm not, it? I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. Okay, this is not an exaggeration. Without spoiling it, can you scene. tell me why she hates it? No, yeah. no, no, just a scene. It doesn't spoil the story at all. There's a scene where this lady is eating a pie. Okay, Ooh, a whole I lo- pie. I love pie. Oh, there you go. I'm getting turned on. You're thinking, you know, they just spent a few seconds of her eating the pie. Oh gosh. That pie with no, cream. she gets the pie from the fridge. With the fridge and whipped cream. She puts it down on the table. Uh-huh. Or, sorry. she oh, She's she standing up starting, and gets a spoon. She doesn't put and it starts in her asshole? Eating. Okay, go ahead. And what does she do? She starts eating the pie, like I said. And it doesn't stop. We're not slow-mo, not speeded, nothing. Just regular time. She's just eating the pie. And the, the scene doesn't finish. So she finishes eating the whole pie. So it was a filler. They needed to fill uh, screen time. For what? They didn't need it. <laughs> uh, it it, it would have been great, like to like to like fill screen time. It would have been great if she put the pie on her on her on her ass, and then she started like you know playing with the pie, and then she put the the spoon up her butt. No, I'm, okay, that's too graphic. But anyways, you get you get what I'm saying. That would have been a great filler. That's another kind of movie that you watch. <laughs> yeah, the Ghost Triple 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 X. <laughs> no, but anyways, besides that scene, which I thought was actually fantastic, <laughs> you're saying why would I think it's fantastic? Because the, it's balls. Now we have to. Now I have to watch the movie. I have had it on my queue, and now you and I have to talk about it next time. Now I'm curious to see the yeah, movie. I've, I've already seen it. Uh, yeah, you're right. It's on Amazon Prime. The, the movie has some balls. I, I will say that. But uh, it, I like it. It's actually. It's I actually think. Good. I think my it's, wife wanted is... to watch it too, and then we ended up watching something else. Oh yeah, I ended up watching Pacific Rim Uprising. What a piece of fucking shit that movie was. Pacific Rim One is still. It's the is hands hands down the the better of 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 that franchise. Okay. Yeah, I never care to watch parts. Yeah, I don't even watch it. It's a piece of shit. It's like it's it's just garbage. So it's like watching you. It's like watching my fist go in your asshole. That's that's how bad it is. <laughs> um. <laughs> Have you seen the the announcement that I think is Cartoon Network or or Adult Swim? One of those one of those fucking things is uh, doing a Thundercats TV show, animated show. No, I, don't, I actually don't care about that. What's more important? What they're doing is they're doing Cooly Cooly. It's coming back. They're doing so. what again? Cooly Cooly FLCL. Yeah, I heard about that. They they that show can go fuck itself. I love that show. I actually, I'm looking at it right now on the floor. I own it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, you, I know I've you love it. it. But going to Thundercats, a lot of people are upset. I, I'm one of them because the Thundercats is like know, it's know, like fucking it's cheapy coming shit. Out real soon, Willy Cooley. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. I think she. I think it comes out next weekend. Go fuck that. <laughs> no, it's really good. I love it. Fuck. I, I, I honestly don't. I, I don't care about Thundercats. To be honest. And Netflix is doing the She-Ra animated show. But at least that one looks like in line with the original uh, She-Ra from the 80s. I, I just don't know why Netflix didn't go with the He-Man show. I think they should just do like Ninja Turtles, but they're all grumpy. Yeah, they, they should do that. All day. They should do that. Yeah. So you saw Solo, a Star Wars story, part of the spinoff of Lucasfilm's um, hey, it's Star Wars story. Yeah, like Rogue One was a Star Wars story. That's that's what they're labeling their spinoff movies. That Lucasfilm is that, like fucking drilling to our heads, and to the and the fans are getting pissed. We did a poll on that Twitter. Of, that was part of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. That's part part of the trilogy of my foot going up your mom's ass. Are you? Uh, so I did a poll on Twitter. It says, "Are you looking forward to watching Solo this uh, Memorial Day weekend?" Forty uh, percent were ex- very excited. Ten percent were are waiting on feedback. 
thirty percent don't care for a solo sequel. Sorry, solo prequel, and twenty percent said too much backstage drama. But it was very close to like don't care and forty percent very excited. It did terrible numbers. The box office worldwide okay, this weekend. Okay, we should say terrible, dude. You should say it made over eighty million in a weekend. In a weekend, and yeah. They- Compared to the last three Star Wars movies, which have made their budget alone and a little bit more opening weekend, this made less than a third of its budget. The budget is two hundred and fifty million dollars, and it made only eighty five. That's ter- that's fucking sad. Domestically, it made worldwide, money. it made one hundred and seventy. It's still not even the budget. Ooh. While Rogue One, The Last Jedi, and The Force Awakens all made their budget plus more. In three days in the opening weekend. Nobody had interest what in this think? shit. Nobody had interest in fucking Solo. I did. Nobody. And I think it's also the has to do with the fatigue of Star Wars. Like, every year we're getting a movie every December. But then they decided, okay, we had Last Jedi in December. Let's release Solo five months after The Last Jedi. That was too soon, I, I believe. And second, no, I'll, I'll, nobody... I'll, I'll, I'll tell you I had, what it is. A lot of people don't too give a soon. shit about Solo. And Last Jedi had made people give up that... That's uh, a bad taste in your mouth. I don't know. Those people are fucking retarded. I, I enjoyed Last Jedi. How can you? It's not I'm a perfect kidding. movie, but, you, but, but it's, it's, it's I'm not a bad movie. Can you? <laughs> but I am saying they did do a lot of stupid decisions in it. Oh, yeah. I agree. I agree. So people are pissed off about those things. And they're like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm still pissed off. So I'm not going to watch this. Dude, not only that, is it the trailers look like shit. Nobody gives a shit about it. You mentioned not long ago. I asked, I asked you why, why, why weren't you interested in seeing Ready Player One? You told me, oh, the trailers didn't interest me. The trailers didn't interest me for Solo, and a lot of people online were reading their comments on Reddit and other websites. They didn't give a shit about the, the. They had no interest in watching Solo. I think another problem though is uh, Solo died in the first one, uh, the first week. Oh, the Force Awakens. But everybody knows that. I mean, that was one of the biggest. It's number three in the box office worldwide. Come on. Yeah, but you're doing a movie on a dead character. So you know it's not going to affect any more of the story. That, but that's the, my point. Nobody needed a prequel. Nobody needed to know how fucking Chewie and Solo, how they acted 30 years before they, they were in A New Hope or 20 years or 10 years, whatever. Nobody needed that. Nobody called for it. The stories of, of Solo's prequel were in the comic books. Right. It was in the old canon. Disney doesn't... Uh, Acknowledge it. Acknowledge it anymore because Disney has the expanded universe, but still, solo storyline has been there and and been, and and done. There was no fucking reason for it. Well, okay. Anyways, I want to hear your thoughts. Did you like it? Yeah, that was. Uh, for, I thought it was better than Rogue One. Really? And, uh, yeah. That's saying a lot. I mean, I enjoyed World One. Road, sorry, Rogue One when I saw it in the cinema, but I bought it on Blu-ray and I saw it. I think two more times on Blu-ray. And it's not a great movie. I, 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 it's, it's just, it does, it doesn't hold up as, as, as well as other Star Wars movies. Right. Uh, so, it, it, had, it never, I never got bored in the movie. Um, things are always, always happening. Interesting characters. I think they casted Solo and uh, Lando very well. Um, the feminist robot, I even liked her. The uh, feminist robot. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um, liked her. Uh, and, you know, as a robot, not technically her, but uh, you know, and the uh, the story was was fun, and then the surprises in it were fun. Um, I didn't have to see a lightsaber, and that's 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 fine. Mm-hmm. Save it for the you know, for the Jedi's and the Sith. Let's not use it for everybody. Does not give a, a blind Chinese guy the force. He has no connections <laughs> to the Jedi. Okay. <laughs> um, they keep on doing unique robots. I think that's like a theme for them now. Well, they put it in every movie. It now. sells toys. I don't know how the feminist robots gonna sell toys, but okay. Well, well, you know, it's we're in the feminist era. You know, did the robot uh, say hashtag Me Too? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, she would. So overall, you hated the movie. No, I just said all things I liked about okay, it. Okay, so here's uh, here's something that somebody asked online. They asked them, "Would you ever see the movie again at home or anything?" And 
and a couple of people said voted that they would not see it ever again. Would you see it again? I would see it again. Really? Yeah. Wow. You must love that Han Solo cock. I see. It's okay, sir. No. I, I won't judge. I still, the chewy, I still the love chewy you. cock. Oh, you want you love Chewie's dick. Oh. Interracial. Sure. It's nice. nice well, it's not even interracial. Interspecies. Nice. <laughs> yeah, bestiality. <laughs> I think. I think with Chewie, but we consider bestiality. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you think? At that point, it's killing you. <laughs> so, sir, you do you? You, do you... you can't handle the Chewie deck. No. Do you know what a? Is uh, help me if I'm saying it correctly. Do you know what a a Woody a Woody is yeah it's uh <laughs> pickle rick pickle what pickle rick what the fuck is that i sent you a picture of it. <laughs> why would you take that <laughs> shit to your job huh why would you take that pickle rick to your job it's fun he's like your so little I, i'm pretty sure you have not seen the episode it's my favorite. I haven't seen that yet. I haven't seen that yet. I, 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 I season three. Yeah, yeah, I have to see. Um, it. it's basically the opening of the episode. It's basically, uh, the family's going to family therapy to avoid going uh-huh. to family therapy. Uh huh. Rick turns himself into a pickle. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> and the mom is kind of, <laughs> you know, thinking he's doing this to avoid. Now therapy. I now I have to see this. Yeah. And they and they notice, oh, he uh, here's his antidote to turn himself back to normal. <laughs> Let's take that. So he's fucked. He's just there on the table as a pickle. <laughs> and then the good, and I won't spoil the rest. No, 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 it's don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. It's my favorite episode. So you you don't know what a a, a woody is. Uh, yeah, you're com- so you're or, you're or sorry, why why ot? A white booty? Yeah. So, so there's a, apparently there's um. Well, I'll get into that in a second. So a couple of days ago, I think it was Sunday, I get a message on the PlayStation Four um, network. It comes into the app as well, and it says, "Hey, blah blah blah. I'm a, a female, blah blah blah. The age twenty something from California. Let me ask you a question." And I'm like, uh, "Okay, ask." And then she, uh, she, I'm going to say she because she's referring to her, herself as a female. She says, do you enjoy big booty girls with big tits? LOL. But for real, because that's what I am. Have. Is that too much for you to handle? <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is this? I immediately start thinking, is this like some fucking 1999 fucking AOL chat room sh- bot or person that's trying to steal my information? You know, I've gotten uh, hit twice on the on PlayStation. PSN. Oh, yeah, so, so specifically on PlayStation. So they're fucking desperate. They're coming back. They're probably thinking, well, this this current generation, the current millennials, don't know about the fucking uh, scam from the AOL days. Let's try to trick them now on the P- on PlayStation Network. <laughs> no, I think the millennials love the Woody. <laughs> they love the Woody. Woody. So I, I fucking rep- I pronounce it. I fucking replied, "Is this going to lead to some 1999 AOL sex sex chat thing? Because if it is." I'm not into that anymore. Haven't been since 1999 on AOL chat room. LOL. Is that too much yeah, for obviously you? Obviously, it was a bot, and uh, and the bot was just being a bot. Stupid. Well, here here's the thing. It, it, it for one uh, one of my replies, it didn't really respond like a bot. It actually then well it no bas- no it just go, it just based off your conversation like whatever is in your conversation, you know, it'll do a certain reply. Oh, so of course, yeah, hit. yeah. So. She replied. I read that. I could, the, yeah, I you read tell, it. Like, I posted it on Twitter. Some if you guys here. want to see it, it's still on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> so the bot, the female bot says, do you know what a whitey is or wooty is? Would you like to see me? I'll show you my woody. And I'm like, what the fuck is a woody? And no, I don't want to see it. Do you want to see you my sure nostrils? I just took a nice sized booger out. Hard as nuts, too. Then the the bot or the female bot replies, "LOL, white Woody is a white girl with a booty." Uh, and then I reply, uh, no, and "Then she says, I want to show you mine.'" And I and I reply, "Why would you want to show me yours? I have a wildy right here." And I put "wife with booty equals wildy." <laughs> so she yeah. says, "Do you like my Woody?" And I go, it's, "There's nothing there, or it's empty." 
And she says, hold on a second. I'm going to set up my camera for you. And I go, why would you do that when I have my very own whitey here, wife with booty? Uh, she says, go to this website, FN whatever. I don't want to say the website because I don't want people to go there and put, give away their information. But it's F something dot com. And you will see me. And just she says, just click accept invite on the bottom left. If the site does not load, then use your phone or computer. I reply, I don't own a computer. She says, no worries, sweetheart. It's absolutely free to join the website. I reply, <laughs> I reply, my whitey just got in my way and I'm unable to view anything on my phone. My whitey has me in a in a spell with her whitey. And then she says, fill out the credit card information. And I go, <laughs> fill, out the, fill out the credit card information for age verification only. Like, fuck, I wasn't born yesterday, dude. This has been going on for like since the internet started. And she's like, okay, I'm ready. I re- then that's so this is I reply I think this conversation is stuck in 1999 time paradox because it seems like you are not acknowledging I think I'm writing also you're asking me for my credit card info do you know it's not safe to ask for that stuff what if someone uses my credit card to purchase things without my consent <laughs> yeah <laughs> at that what point is? at that point the female boss says what color panties do you think I should wear I should have your favorite color here somewhere and i put my whitey has them on and she isn't the sharing type besides they look so amazing on my wife i would not want anyone else to wear them and then the the bot says i'll do anything you want me to do are you watching i cannot talk with you on the website until you sign up so i i I, so you could have just told her oh yeah do this for me log off exactly but i reply i responded i'm watching my wife so why the fuck should i be watching you besides my credit cards told me just now this sounds like a fucking scam or a freaking scam. Sorry. And then I, I believe that's that's where it ended. I guess they once they saw the word scam, the bot is like, OK, this motherfucker caught on to us. <laughs> so people or listeners, beware of that scam. Don't give out your credit card information to anybody except for Javier. Javier, they, 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 they can give it to you, right? No. No? You don't want their credit card information? No. Oh, shit. Well, anyways, I showed a scammer on PlayStation Network, so that was fun for me. Do you want to add any other details? Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. <laughs> you said that's season three? Yeah. I'm going to have to watch that. Any uh, Anything else you want to discuss? Any final words? Well, I said uh, you could follow us <laughs> on Bits for You Podcast on Twitter. Or I will retweet and sometimes talk about things that I like. Yes, you should. I love all the things that you like. Que lindo. I look forward to What's it. He? It's sexy. Are you gonna? Are you? Uh, some, what if the fans want to see Pickle Rick? Are you gonna show them Pickle Rick? One day. You should show it to them. Yeah, I'll I'll I'll, I'll post it. Uh, wink, tomorrow. wink, wink, wink. All right. <laughs> All right, then. I'm signing off. All right. Laters. Besito.